Do you have an app or product that you want to market and you want to create a marketing website for it? You can create a website like this with animations, video explanations, using Gemini 3. In this video, I'm going to show you how I create this website in one hour using AI coding and Gemini 3. Before I start, I want to quickly show you an overview of what I'm going to cover in this video. We're going to start off with a prototype using Google AI Studio. Then I'm going to download the HTML file and add more features to it using Gemini CLI because it's more powerful. Once I'm happy with the website, I need to deploy it on a server so the whole world can access it. So I'm going to be using GitHub Pages where I'll set up a new GitHub repository, upload my files, and then using the free GitHub pages deployed on the internet. At that point, it's going to have a GitHub address. I want a custom domain name, so I bought applehealthdata.com. The final step is to set the DNS settings in my GitHub pages to point to Namecheap, where I bought the domain name. At the very end, you can go to applehealthdata.com and see the website. So that's the overview of what I'm going to cover in today's video. So I have a Mac and iOS app called the Health Data Export AI Analyzer and currently has no website for marketing. So I'm going to create a website to help market this product and I'm going to walk you through how I do it. First of all, I want to buy a domain name and I just did a Google Trends search and seems like a lot of people search for the term Apple Health Data and I'm going to try to buy that domain and here you see applehealthdata.com is available. So I'm just going to go ahead and buy that. Okay, so I just bought the website and I've gone ahead to Google AI Studios. And this is great for just trying things out and doing a prototype. And so what I've done is I said, can you make a really cool website? And I just plugged in my link to my app and it's generated this amazing looking website. It's even got animations. It looks really cool. And so this is a great start, but AI Studio lacks a lot of functionality. And so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and click share, copy the contents, come to my text editor and paste it. And now I've saved it as index.html. And what I can do is I can open my browser and I can put in index.html, load it. And you'll see that it's a one page HTML file to get me started. Now, this is only running on my local computer and later I'll show you how I can deploy this and link it to my applehealthdata.com. But this is a great start. And the next phase is I'm gonna move into using Google Gemini CLI to code this. Okay, so how do I do that? Well, there's a couple things I need to do. Let's call it Apple Health Data Website. And then I have a folder now and I put it in my index.html in my folder. The next thing I need to do is I need to set up a GitHub. I need to open a new repository on GitHub. So I come to repositories on GitHub, click new. Let's give it a name and then let's create repository. Great. And so now I have the repo. I'm now inside my folder. I open up Gemini and then I just need to copy and paste this and it will commit my first commit and add the website. Okay, so it should have committed to code. Let's check it out. And my index.html is in there. Great. I have a YouTube video that I used to promote and explain the app. So I'm going to add this to the website. I'm going to go back and say, add this YouTube video to the website, the video demonstrates how to use the Mac app. Okay, and then let's see what it does. Okay, you can see that it's added in there. And I think because this is locally hosted, it's unable to reach the, the file. It's okay. I think uh, I can fix this when I deploy this on the server, but it looks good. So there's more I want to add. I have a open source repo that is linked to this. So I want to add this as marketing material. So let's add that too. So I'm going to say add it to the website. Okay, so it's shown that it's got 280 stars on GitHub. So that's really good. Okay, so it seems like it's only taken the iPhone data from my App Store description, but it also syncs with my Mac. So I want to add that in as well. It is a universal app, local AI analysis. Here is the land address to the site. 
Okay, so let's see what it does. I've given it quite a advanced instruction. Let's see if it can work as magic. So I've told it that it's both an iOS and Mac app and not just a iPhone app and see if it can also incorporate the Mac aspects to this app as well. Because right now it's only showing the iPhone app and I wanted to show it syncing with the Mac app. Okay, so it's done. So let's see what it's gonna come back with. Oh, okay. So it's showing that it's syncing, great. Now I, I wonder if it can generate the same, hold on. If it can generate this, it'll be great if it can generate an image here. Okay, before I go into getting into images, let's see if I can actually deploy this using GitHub Pages. In the next little bit, I'm gonna show you how to deploy your website to GitHub Pages for free, but there's a bunch of clicking you need to do. And I'm gonna use Perplexity Comet AI Browser to basically click on the website for me. I have a separate video on how to do that. And you can click on this to watch that video on how to use Perplexity AI browser to help you do the clicking for you. I can come into my Perplexity comment and say, help me deploy this website too. Since it's only a static website, it should be able to deploy on GitHub pages for free because it's a public repository, then I can test it out. But later on, when I wanna add more stuff, I might post it on the server. But for now, just to see its changes, I think uh, I can use GitHub Pages. So I can ask Perplexity Comet to use the agent and just click on the settings for me and then just publish this. And you can see Perplexity Comet is doing all the clicking for me. So I don't have to click anything and it will deploy on the website for me. Okay, and it's done. So let's click on it and boom, we have it on my GitHub pages and the YouTube as I expected is working now because it's live on a server and I just need to fix these two images. Okay, so I wanna indicate that the iPhone and the Mac app syncs together and there's two image slots on the website I wanna fill. So I've taken some screenshots of my Mac app. And here's a screenshot of my iPhone app. Then I went to Gemini and I gave it all the screenshots here, the screenshots from a Mac and iPhone app. Can you create an animation of the iPhone sending data to Mac? And let's see what it gave me. So here's a website, we have the YouTube. Look at this, it's got a cool little animation syncing the iPhone to the Mac. So I'm really impressed with this and so, I'm happy with this right now, so I'm gonna to try to connect this to my applehealthdata.com website. And since I'm using GitHub Pages, um, I'm gonna stick with it for now, and then later on I'll make a separate video on how to push it to a server. Okay, so in order to connect applehealth.com, I need to configure this on my domain name server. Let's do that. Okay, so I need to create a bunch of A records in order for it to work. So again, I don't need to do this myself. So let's come to Namecheap and then I have my applehealthdata.com. I need to configure it, so let's do it. Can you help me set up my for using custom domains on GitHub pages? Okay, so I'm, I've told Comet to basically come into my Namecheap server and set up the DNS setting. So then I can verify it in GitHub pages. So it's giving me these recommendations and I don't want just recommendations. I want it to do it for me. So I'm going to ask it to do it for me. The screen turns blue and let's see how it does. We'll check back when it's done. So perplexity common has entered all the A records and C name and all the little details that I need. And if I come to GitHub pages, unfortunately the checking is going to show incorrect, but what Perplexity has told me is that it actually takes 24 hours for the DNS to work. But if I go to applehealthdata.com, it is now showing the website. So there you have it. The website is done. Looks fantastic. And I have it on applehealthdata.com. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. And if you want to learn more about AI, please join my community in the description below. If you want to learn how to code with AI like I did, I have an AI vibe coding course you can join. I'll see you in there.